Hello, so I'm going to work with you today on doing a couple of flowers. Um, or one big flower that I'd like to share with you. It's a little bit more tropical. You can see I've got flowers all around me, but I had a problem the other day with people being able to get on and chat with me. So what I'm all about is sharing more with you, having you go to my Relax and Paint and go and check out my Cabbage Rose if you haven't checked it out before. Please comment so that I know you're out there. And oh, there you are. So I need to see if you can comment. That's a big deal. And then what I want to share with you is how simple our strokes are and how much you can have fun with them. And so remember on Wednesdays, relax and paint with me. I come on early in the morning. And on Fridays, what I do is I teach you if you're out there saying, like many of you are, if you're out there saying, ma'am, help me. How do I start this one stroke fan? journey and I want to learn how to paint just like this how easy this looks so I want you to know it takes a little bit of practice but I have started a path for you with many lessons that teach you what the tools are and what you do with the tools and they're step by step by step strokes all right now I can see who's coming on but I don't see any comments so and we checked it out there's no reason not to have comments so this just says my participants so i'm going to move over there you are so we've got some chats all right so that's awesome all right so i will try to look up but um i'm not sure i'm going to be able to catch everything you say because i'm going to be really busy but i do have people like miss pat houston and a few others uh, that get on and try to help answer questions if i don't happen to see you but i always go back and read your comments under my lives and under the live streams and i try to answer everything you ask and so be careful and watch for the brush size i use i'm using multi-surface paint this wonderful multi-surface paint by plaid folk art multi-surface and the reason i love that is it has a sealer in it you can paint on glass ceramic metal wood canvas it's wonderful all right so and it's it's hundreds of colors wonderful all ready for you to paint right so i thank you so much for the nice comments that's awesome i really like your thumbs up it helps please if you're liking what i'm doing as i'm painting please share with your friends and please subscribe when you subscribe and ring the little bell there's a bell you can click on it will let you know the minute i go on so if you don't have time right then you come back a little bit later in the day and watch all right so what about a hibiscus thanks for the thumbs up you guys are doing wonderful i appreciate that and thanks for sharing i've been around a long time but i have been concentrating to get new subscribers and grow our channel so that I can spend more time giving free content to you guys. So thank you so much for being on. I'm gonna start with my little double loader and I'm gonna go down and show you that we're gonna do a big red hibiscus. And the, it's a little bit more difficult of a petal to get, but we're gonna use a very large brush and that makes it very easy. So the most common brush used in the, this painting industry that I'm in is like a six. That's pretty small. And I use, uh, you love to watch me, thank you. Uh, PBS, I love my PBS. I have um, a three quarter flat brush, all right? So that's a big brush compared to a six. I don't even know if I have a six but a six round a six yeah so really little to really big and people love doing it with me using this all right i concentrate on the words i say because i'm like push turn lift chisel you know this is the chisel so i'm telling you pressure then come up on the chisel so i'm really talking to you so please listen for that and and this is the most important thing is believe you can do it and i have to tell you you think i might have practiced a lot i painted thousands of pieces of metal and clay pots and different strokes on thousands of pieces so think how many leaves i've done out there if i painted the leaves on every uh every single french bucket or watering can by the time I got through doing all of that with this technique, I got really good. But do you think it happened overnight? No, I practiced a lot and I didn't just practice. I painted on things. So I'm inspiring you to paint greeting cards, paint on 
things that you really like cans we would spray paint in a can and paint on paint something pretty on it and stick our brushes or pencils in so there's you know that's just an old juice can so think about it there's all kinds of things we even use pringle plastic containers but this paint will paint on that too all right so i've got lots going on i just want to tell you before i'm trying to read some of what you say but uh amazing lessons in 2021 thank you i am working on 2021 just growing 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 can we be friends yes if you want to be my friend i just have to tell you donna s Dewberry on facebook is is more of a personal site but everybody thought they were my friends than they are <laughs> but it was supposed to be family and friends but everybody joined so after 5,000, I had to go start a group. Hello, Miss Linda Heller. So to be in the group, all you have to do is go on and answer the three questions and we will add you to our group. And on our group, you'll find that we have Facebook lives every Tuesday and every Friday. So we're trying to get those Tuesday and Friday times to be the same. But if you don't know at the front top of the page on those days, my daughter, Amanda, who's there when I'm not there, post what time we're going to be on and every one of those Tuesdays and Fridays, we give you discounts uh, on all the product that I use. I also want to share with you while I've got you right here that at the top of my channel, not on a phone, but if you're on an iPad or a computer, there's a bar at the top of my Donna Dewberry channel. And on the top, there is a store that's brand new. So if you, yes, Ms. Pat just put up the Facebook group. If y'all guys want to go look at that. Okay. So at the top, there is a store and those, I have new relax and paint shirts. And I have this wreath that's on hoodies and other t-shirts and lots more. So go check them out. All right. And go to one stroke.com for all your painting needs. All right. So that's my deal. So let me start teaching you how to do this. All right. So let me turn it around. Oh, I need y'all to share. Oh, guess what? It just fell off. <laughs> I am just doing really good. All right. So I am going to, I'm sorry, I have to screw this on and I don't know why it came off. I am being really lucky the last couple of days. Every time I come on, I have a problem. All right. So I'm going to take you for a ride. We're going to spin around and around. Don't give up on me. I promise I'm going to paint. Are y'all laughing? All right. I don't blame you. This is crazy. All right. What is it? Righty tighty. Let Lucy. Lefty Lucy. Lefty Lucy. Usually, but sometimes it's reverse. Sometimes it's reverse. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I know I'm making y'all sick. How many are going to hang up on me? All right, why why is this not working? I know I was all perfect and then it stopped. It fell in my hands. Seriously, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, we're gonna get to right there and leave it. All right, I'm not gonna touch it. Okay, thanks for being patient with me. Guess what? I lost four people. The rest of you roller coaster ride. <laughs> That's right, Gilbert. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I appreciate y'all being patient. All right. So I've wet my brush and I'm going to dry it on the paper towel. And I want this um, hibiscus to be mostly red. So I have apple red and I have daffodil yellow. And I want to get this red really good into my brush. I want it really, really firm going back and forth, back and forth quickly dip work it in work it in okay and then i want to pick up a little bit of the yellow all right so this has just little yellow ripples okay now i'm just dipping the colors i want and i'm on paper i'm on multimedia paper so it's got a little bit of texture so it does need a little bit of medium all right the medium is the fluff that's inside the paint with no pigment see that floating medium all right you have small bottles and big bottles and i put that in the middle of the double loader okay this has a lid too so you can keep your paint if you're in the middle working on something and having to jump up and leave so i'm going to slide up all right then i'm going to wiggle
and then I'm going to slide down. All right. Now, I don't think that's bright enough. So what I'm going to do is I that is the color I want, but I think I'm going to start with a moon yellow, which is brighter than daffodil, because I think that I might get a better look with this. OK, so I'm going to dip that and that's the moon yellow. All right. So let's come back here again. See, I'm doing this edge. See, I'm doing like ribbon candy and then sliding down. So I'm going to pull the red down. All right. Now, one thing that's going to help you, I have a little bit of chalk here. Let me try this real quick. All right. So let's do this, this petal there. Okay, and then this petal. I'm going to slide it back. This petal and this petal. So you can see that these are coming way down here. That's just white chalk. All right. So let's pick up a little bit of moon. Um, yeah, moon yellow and red. This is apple red. I like it because it's bright. I don't want a dark dull color. All right, so watch. We're going to come up here, and then I'm going to do a little bit so it works in. See that? Wiggle, wiggle, and slide down. All right, so then we take the other edge of the brush, and we just pull these down because I'm making this big. All right, so I'm going to dip back in that yellow, the moon yellow, and let's just let's just just do it on the edge. All right, I'm gonna pick up a little daffodil. Maybe that will show up good there. All right, a little bit of moon, moon yellow. All right, and slide down. So see, this looks a lot more dramatic than that does than that color does. All right, so. Okay, more of the red. All right, I got to move so y'all can see. All right, so I have lots of paint. Look, tons of paint. Are you liking this? All right, so thank you for the thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. They say a lot of people don't subscribe. All it will do is just give you a little notification that I'm on. And then you'll know to come watch whenever there's free content on from me. Okay. And so that will help for all these lives I like to put on. And I do them randomly. I don't do my lives at a set time. Okay, so I like to catch new people, but if you subscribe, you never miss it. Okay, you see that? So then I take this corner with red because it's so big. Look how big this is. All right, and see, are you seeing how we're getting that look? All right. Now, this usually has a dark or a light center. So I'm going to show you what's going to happen. I'm going to make this one light, and I'll show you how. We're going to come here, get some more paint. This is just a quick today. Thank you, Melinda. Did you ask me? You asked me for something, and I did it for Friday. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be in Atlanta on doing some lives from Atlanta for you guys this next week. And so I had to do pre-record my Friday's lesson. And it's for, it's one that you asked for, Miss Melinda. So there we go. I think you wanted to do some tropical flowers too, didn't you, Melinda? Okay. So, so lots of people like tropical. I used to put these on clay pots all the time. All right. Now, I want a pretty center. 
All right, so now there's two things. Hello, Miss Trudy. There's two things that you can do. You can use a dark, like a berry wine, a dark color in the middle. Um, or I'm going to use um, a whole bunch of moon yellow. Because the point, so the hibiscus I've had in my yard, right here in the center, I'm going to come down a little bit more. In the center, I have a smile. See right there? That's where it's going in. And then let me show you what happens. All right. I have gone all around here and have done a zigzag with this brush. So I'd love for y'all to come join me on my group, on my Facebook group, Donna Dewberry's, of, with an S, official one stroke group, and show us your practice strokes from our, or whatever you practice from our classes here. Where I, where I teach you a lesson. So there we go. All right. Now, okay, are y'all liking it? That's what I need to see. Oh, yes, Gina, I liked your cards a lot. All right. So listen, I still need a darker color. So one thing that's kind of crazy is that you can take on red, you can take, um, if I pick up red and I pick up a sap green, you can't tell that it's green. It ends up looking like just a dark color. All right, so I can come right in here and then just make that little bit of depth so you can see down into the flower a little bit. Are y'all with me? Okay, I think that is a little bright. There we go. I want y'all to be able to see that it's a really pretty red. Okay, so now I'm going to do a leaf really quick. And then I'll put the center in here. And that will be our lesson for today. So what do y'all think? There we go. Let's work it in. Get your medium. Work it in. This is a three-quarter flat. Again, I just switched colors. All right, so hibiscus has a big leaf. So look, I can come right here. And look, I can go around that petal. And then I'm going to pull it. One, two, three, four, five. And have it go off the edge. One, two, three. Just pull it off the edge from that dark. See, you saw how I went around that petal. And then we're going to pull a stem in the middle. All right. So I, I'd be neater and pull it from there more, but I can come down here. Okay. And add a couple more leaves. Okay. And oops, the stem can't be from here. That stems from those. Those are stems coming from that plant, but guess where the stem for this flower has to be. It has to be from where this right here is because I'm going to pull out the stand, the stem in the middle. So look, I'm touching, leaning, and then pulling out. And as I go out, it gets slender. It's heavier there. And then it goes slender. But guess where your stem holding the flower has to be from right here. Okay. So it's got to start here. This is going to the center of the flower and then straight out here would be the stem that holds the flower. You can just act like these stems out here are giving you more leaves. Okay. All right. So let's come over here and let's do another great leaf before I put my stamens on. All right. So I'm going to come here. Are y'all with me? Are you with me? Thank you. All right. See, I'm coming all along there. I need more medium and more paint. So let's do it here again. One, two, three, four. Get a point. 
because they have big, big leaves. All right, so let's pull these along here. The dark, there we go. So push down, lift. And this is actually how I paint on fabric because you can't push it down and just wiggle because it grabs on the fabric. See that? Okay, now I get a, more of the dark green and pull our stem. All right. So just add a few leaves here and there. And we are ready to put our little guy on here. So here we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put little, little liners. Okay, guys, one last thing and we're done. Okay, one last thing. So we're going to come up here and I take the script liner and I'm going to, I'm going to use white because it's not showing here with this dark green. Let's get a better liner really quick. So what do you think? Are you liking it? All right, I appreciate you guys being on. And what's really important is you guys say what you want to see next. That's what helps me, okay? Be sure that you tell your friends to come subscribe so we can do more content and have more for you guys. Now, what I want you to see is that I'm going to come all out here and I'm going to do it like a little a Christmas tree kind of. And that's really wet, so it's not letting me do that right there. So look. All right, can you see that? So it's just like a little Christmas tree. And I've come right down here with the dark green. So you see that right to the center. And I'm going to put some yellow right here to clean that up. All right, now guess what happens? Are you liking it? I told you now, this takes a little bit of work, but you guys can do it. I'm going to touch this with thick paint, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tap my little finger. You want to see more? <laughs> I'm going to tap my little finger, and it's got white and daffodil yellow, and I'm just tapping right over that so you see the little bit of white underneath the two colors. Tap, 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 tap. Okay. Okay, there we go. And sometimes I get carried away. But there we go. It's a big cluster. <laughs> but I can come in here and put some yellows to take away from that. Okay, a little bit of yellow here and there. All right, I got carried away. It's pretty big, but you know what? There we are. It's big. Look, bigger than my whole hand. All right. Uh, so can you teach how to arrange place flowers on a project and instruct? Yes, I have all kinds of perspective classes and all kinds of things that you can learn like that. So I could just sit down and do one of those classes for you, but I, I appreciate you asking. But I just wanted to share with you a quick project or how-tos on a simple takes practice so a simple what five six petals to make this look that looks like a, a hibiscus now these look like they could be a little larger down here but i wanted to be focused right there and i think you are focused right there right so do you paint any poppies i absolutely do thank you so much guys if you want to see more please like share and subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you so much.